Good evening, this is That One Guy broadcasting from Not Holland. Tonight, in this Rocket Design School, I'm going to be talking about the implementations of various types of engines for various types of targets. So rather than heading to the VAB first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show off a little something that I've got going on right now. This is the Ike 01 lander, and I'd like to point something out. This is basically a lunar lander. Um... As you see, I've loaded the crap out of it with batteries because in one of my previous missions, uh, I ran short on electric power during the nighttime, so I didn't want that to happen again. Now, the point that I'm making there is the lander is the same pretty much as the Moon esque lander, which is where the Dune esque came from. But if we take a look at the Dune esque, it's only got a couple of more bells and whistles than the Moon esque, which I will show you in a minute. The key difference here is the LVN engine, the nuclear one. You'll see that the fuel tanks are about the same size, so let's go ahead and head back to the Space Center with the intention of heading to the VAB. I'm going to go ahead and load up a craft. Moonask, here we go. And load. Here we go. The lower stage is identical. As you see, this lander is very similar. It doesn't have any more bells and whistles. In fact, it has less stuff, which I'm going to play around with in a bit. I'm going to update this, and I don't know, I might put the craft in to my drive. But if we take a look, we have the same size fuel tank, the same amount of uh, monopropellant, and the same ASAS. The same amount of uh, RCS thruster blocks, and less stuff on it. And not by much. I think by comparative weight, let me check. This is... 0.35, this is... 0.2. Okay, so it's actually quite a bit less, but you don't need as much electric power. But the point is... I took a lot of stuff off of here, but it's not enough to actually affect propulsion. This is only intended to stay in system. Therefore, all the ships that you want to go to the Mon Minmus should probably have a conventional uh, liquid fuel rocket. For most of mine, I use the Poodle engine, uh, the Rocco Max Poodle liquid engine. Um, it has enough thrust and is fuel efficient enough to get you to the Mon Minmus and back. I don't know about in the same run. I've never tried that. It uh, it has a fair amount of power in its alternator to recharge your ship. And the point is, it has enough power to get this out to the Mun or Minmus and stay there. The reason that you're able to get away with this uh, trade-off of less... Um, what is that? Specific impulse? Yes. Your ISP is because... Uh, when you're coming back from uh, Minmus or the Mun, you don't really have to be that specific with how you enter that orbit. You could enter in a really wonky orbit, and as long as you burn at the right time, you can still make one burn and come back to Kerbin and uh, not have to correct anything else and have fuel left over. Whereas in an IP mission, an interplanetary mission, you're going to be pinching pennies all the way. So let me go ahead and load up the Dune Esk a quick sec and show you what I mean by comparison. Hmm. Dune -esque. Here we go. As you see, the uh, I was uh, talking about this being the same size, same everything. I've just got a couple more bells and whistles on it for IP travel. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is actually only a tiny bit heavier, and the lifter system has no trouble getting it into, uh, into almost orbit. But, um, <clears throat> even with this high-efficiency engine, you're going to be sort of pinching fuel pennies towards the end, but uh, not to worry, uh, I've tested this, you can get to the Duna system and back, 
really easily. Tried sending it out to Eve. Mm, I don't recommend that too much. Eve is a lot has a lot bigger gravity well and is a lot more of a pain in the butt to get out of. Uh, in fact, I would only recommend EVE for kind of experienced pilots. Even just going there and back is a pain. Um, Jewel and its systems are easier than EVE in my mind. Uh, as far as landing and such. But, um, yep, this has just been a quick little rocket design school about intent. When you're thinking uh, interplanetary, remember, think nuclear. And if you're staying in the Kerbin system, don't bother with nuclear. It complicates things. It's much heavier than this engine. Um, I lied, it's the same. I should check things before I speak. Oh, it's a little lighter. Well, point is, you can afford to go a little faster because you're not going to waste as much fuel. This has been that one guy. Thanks for watching.